Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Thank you for joining us tonight. Bradenton police are investigating a shooting that injured a child and a 19 year old at an East Bradenton home late this morning. Police say the two victims are brothers. One is in critical condition, the other in stable condition. ABC 7's Bobeth Yates joins us now live from Bradenton with more on the investigation tonight. Bobeth. Well, police tape and crime scene investigators remain on scene as they try to piece together all the details that led a 19-year-old boy and a 12-year-old boy in the hospital. Now, according to officials, this all began with an argument between those children and their stepdad. Now, officials are telling us that the 19-year-old boy, whose name was Rufus Adams, began arguing with his his stepdad, 13, uh, 36 year old Joshua Rapola. Now, Rapola tells law enforcement that um, the 19 year old got a weapon during that argument and then he too decided to go get a weapon in response. Somehow, Rapola shot at the 19 year old. He was hit in the head and also in the upper body. That 19 year old was then transported to Blake Medical in critical condition. The second victim, his 12 year old brother, was caught in the crossfire and was accidentally shot in the lower body. Now, while law enforcement continued to look into this issue, neighbors are reacting. Uh, they're getting ridiculous, you know, everywhere with all this shooting. Because, uh, you know, the one guy, he probably ain't 25, 30 years old, you know, and he's a pretty good guy. And the other guy, he walks the neighborhood with the kids and walks his dog all the time. You know, so I just don't understand it. I've been here right at four years. I never thought nothing to happen like this here. You know, I sit out on my porch late at night and stuff, and early in the morning. I like I work like three days a week. And, uh, I just never thought nothing happened like this. Again, there was a shooting on the 1900 block of Sixth Avenue East. Two people are now in the hospital. One, a 19-year-old who was shot in the head and is currently in critical condition. The other, a 12-year-old boy who is said to be his brother that is in stable condition. We'll bring you more details about this as we get it. Back to you. Well, Beth, thank you. A century-old brick road in Sarasota is deteriorating. Laurel Park neighbors are now asking the city to fix it before it gets any worse. It's a bumpy drive down Haken's Court at the Laurel Park neighborhood, but some of the bricks are breaking apart, others gone completely. Neighbors want the street to be fixed and not just paved over, but bricks are not cheap. The Laurel Park Neighborhood Association has asked the city commission for some extra funding in the coming budget to fix the street. Residents say the problem started about 20 years ago when a cable company came in, dug up a portion of the street, and then filled it in with asphalt. Now the street's starting to, the, the roadbed's starting to decay, partially due to that, partially due to time, and it's, each year it just gets worse and worse. Now it's getting pretty rutted and pretty uh, bumpy. Warnick says the city commission seems supportive of repairing Hawkins Road, but the, uh, he knows it'll be hard to find money for it in the budget when it is hoping for a fix either this year or next. Major construction to downtown Venice is set to begin next year, meaning the city's special events calendar is having to be adjusted. The city regularly holds weekend craft fairs, food festivals, and a farmer's market, but next year it's going to be a challenge. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley is joining us with more tonight. Christopher. Good evening. 2018 is going to be the year of many lane closures in the city of Venice, and that's expected to have a wide-ranging impact. This all stems from last year's road bond Venice voters passed. The main roadways downtown, Tampa Avenue, Venice Ave, and Miami Ave are all going to be torn up and rebuilt from the ground up. Not all at once, of course, but as the work happens, all of those events that draw thousands of people into the downtown area on weekends will have to be moved, at least between April and November of next year. Just today, city staff met with one major event holder to discuss where else in the city they could move their event. We're all at this point seeking alternative locations in which to hold their event. We wanted to give them plenty of time up front in order to be able to accomplish that. Uh, we have several options of other locations that can be considered for this one year relocation. And when they come back, the downtown is going to be beautiful. And so we have to go through a little bit of this challenge during construction, but it'll be worth it in the long run. 
Work will begin in April of next year. It is expected to end sometime around November. As I said, this is all a part of the large $18 million road bond City of Venice voters passed last year. In total, 70 road miles, 70 lane miles within the city are set to be rebuilt. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Christopher. The city of Sarasota has struggled to write code for tree removals that please both developers and residents. So now the two will collide on a new citizens advisory board. The board will spend the next year reviewing the city's current code, which requires contractors replace trees to similar size or move them to other properties. The hope is that the new rules will allow enough flexibility for residents to change their own landscaping or remove trees that are hazardous. But experts warn these rules can be hard to write and even harder to enforce. Every tree is different and every location of every tree is different and there are a lot of factors to consider when you're looking at a piece of a property where you have different trees throughout the property. The final board, which commissioners will likely appoint in August, will consist of neighborhood leaders, developers, business owners, residents, and an arborist. Maybe some a spot under a nice shade tree was oh, the place to be today, You need it today huh? for sure. Let's head over to Bob. Well, I'll tell you, right now they're getting a lot of rainfall and the potential for some severe weather in Charlotte Harbor is spreading off now into Sarasota County. This storm has really exploded. There have been reports now, uh, some indications that there was a water spout into Charlotte Harbor just about a half hour ago or possible funnel cloud or even a tornado. We'll have to wait and see how the reports are coming out on that right now, but just this incredible amount of lightning strikes occurring, just continuous lightning strikes throughout this area, all pushing off to the west-northwest. And you can see, we talked about it earlier, this line is building northward now, so into Venetian and then spreading westward now near Jacaranda. Some heavier weather, Port Charlotte, Northport, you're just to the north and east of this uh, very intense line, which will be drifting off to the west over the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes. You can see that heavier weather now getting ready to move into Inglewood. Uh, Port Charlotte has had some rough weather. Punta Gorda by far has hit the hardest right now. Even despite the fact we have this dry air in place, there's just enough energy in the atmosphere to create these storms. Now moving toward Inglewood. Elsewhere, Arcadia, this one just popping up in the last half hour. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this as it heads toward Venice and Nokomis as it spreads northward right now. Uh, some heavier weather down into South Sarasota County uh, moving off to the west. More on this coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. A natural gas leak causes workers to evacuate a Sarasota construction site. Orange Avenue and Boulevard of the Arts had to be evacuated uh, around 2.30 this afternoon. The fire officials say a two-inch gas line was accidentally cut there. Construction workers had to leave the work site until the leak was capped. It's lighter than air, so it travels kind of wherever the wind may take it. So uh, it's our goal just to get it shut off as quickly as we can and protect the areas that may be downwind of it. Uh, fortunately, it was outside in a well-ventilated area. So we monitored all the areas around it to make sure that we didn't have uh, gas inside any of the structures. But uh, potentially, it can be dangerous. That leak has been repaired and no one was injured. Still to come on your Suncoast News, the state Supreme Court ruling may cost the county millions of taxpayer dollars. The rule that has private hospitals suing for reimbursement. And what agricultural experts are doing to battle an invasive plant that can kill Florida native plants and trees. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. 
Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate... Or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free. Services.com. It is a Florida Supreme Court decision that could cost Sarasota County hundreds of millions of dollars. The state's highest court upheld a state law that directs the county to reimburse public and private hospitals for the care that was given to indigent patients. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us now live from Doctors Hospital in Sarasota with more on the story. Rick? Yeah, Haley and Scott, this was really a very big decision. One of those winners and who could very much benefit from this is the doctor's hospital here. Because of this ruling, Sarasota County may have to shell out $300 million in medical bills for care private hospitals gave to poor patients. Initially, uh, private hospitals sued the county and a trial and appeals court ruled in favor of the county. But that was overturned by Florida Supreme Court today. Sarasota County says in a statement, in an effort to protect taxpayer dollars, the county County intends to vigorously defend the lawsuit on a number of grounds which were not before the Florida Supreme Court. And the doctor's hospital here says we are pleased that the Supreme Court recognized that all hospitals in the county should be treated the same when it comes to funding for indigent care. Now, we did reach out to many of those involved, and nobody would come on camera to comment. We'll have more on this coming up later. Reporting live from Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams. Back to you. Thank you, Rick. All right, Bob is tracking some uh, strong storms in the area right now. We'll have that right after this. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right. Because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. It's fine that other people like you. It's more important that you like yourself. And I'm comfortable with every part of me. Meals on wheel, coming to my door as someone who's housebound, assures me that I'm not forgotten. They care that I'm okay. My name is Asha Ida Bell, America. Let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. 
Save big during the 4th of July clearance and pay no interest for 48 months with same-day pickup or next-day delivery. This special purchase double reclining sofa for only $4.99. This special purchase white Florida bedroom for $5.99. And the matching nightstand is free. This special purchase Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen set for $3.99. Exclusively at the Furniture Warehouse in Sarasota, Bradenton, Venice, Port Charlotte, and Ellington. And save big. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. What to do when your heating or air conditioning needs service or heaven forbid replacement? Call Air Now today. We've been serving Sarasota and Manatee County since 1946. We offer $49.95 tune-ups, lease or finance options, and remember, service today or it's free. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why it is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. So some new information from the tropics. Yeah, we have some information. We're watching uh, the tropical wave that's coming off the coast of Africa. It's a long way off, but it's interesting. Right. You know, as a, a weather person during the summer, it's you know fairly typical this time of year. We look at afternoon storms, highs in the low 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, so we search at long range, and uh, there is something, something that may be popping up. But uh, this is the time that we have to kind of keep an eye on things, especially down in the deep tropics. But uh, get a look at this. We have to keep an eye on lightning too. And this is an interesting shot from Damon Powers. Always sending some great photos in. He's a photographer, obviously. And, this lightning strike happening, and he called this one fishing for a strike. Not lightning, but a, a fish at the Anna Maria Pier. Appreciate that wonderful shot with the Sunshine Skyway in the, the distance there. And uh, the Casey Key webcam, a different location on the water, showing calm conditions for boaters and beachgoers alike. It's been nice, but you see those high clouds coming in from left to right. That's in advance of a strong storm system now, which has prompted the National Weather Service to issue a special, a special marine warning from Charlotte Harbor all the way up through Tarpon Springs. This is growing now to the north and to the west, but the lightning has been very impressive. Their indications are weather spotter suggesting that there was a water spout in Boca Grande about a half hour ago. So some rotation even occurring with this particular cell as it makes its way off to the west northwest at 10 miles an hour. Venice and the Venetian getting hit hard right now. Inglewood also in the uh, uh, right in the heart of the system. So this is all going to be moving over the top of you. You'll see about an inch of rainfall. You can even see the east breeze and outflow boundary there, which will enhance this line, which has gotten together just over the last hour. Right there it is. And you can see this line spreading to the north. Venice near the Venetian, as I mentioned, heading toward uh, downtown Venice and eventually places to the north. So we'll keep an eye on it. It could continue to build to the north, but more than likely it will be offshore by the time it reaches into Manatee County. But Inglewood, heavy rainfall expected. Uh, as well as into Venice and Laurel. Uh, they'll be there just around 6.30 or so. At least the crux of the system will be uh, on hand. Now, uh, we'll go back to that graphic real quickly here and show you this is the system. This is tropical depression number four. This one is going to have a hard time getting a tropical storm status because of this dry air right here, which is in, being entrained in the system. On top of this, a big trough in the Atlantic will rip the system apart due to some high wind shear. So models are suggesting that it's going to fall apart. Uh, before that does that, though, it may bring us some additional moisture here uh, beginning Wednesday of next week. Some of the models are suggesting that some of that moisture will work its way all the way over into our area. 90 right now, heat index 97. Uh, the dew point is at 72, although it's cooled in places like Northport and Port Charlotte, as well as into Inglewood and Venice. 91 the high today, 90 the average, and the low was right at the average. No rainfall officially at the airport, and for the month we're at one inch, and it uh, looks like about three quarters of an inch below average, but that'll be made up real quickly. Upper 80s near the coast, low 90s up and down. Lower Loke at 90, 92 in Northport, although these temperatures will be changing just like 
Port Charlotte has down to 81 degrees, and I'm certain that Plantation and Inglewood and Rotunda will be down into the upper 70s to low 80s if they're not there already. Forecast for Friday, still a chance for showers in the afternoon. The rain chance, about 30%. Not a widespread activity like we're normally used to, but the forecast is suggesting these storms lasting until about 8 o'clock and then pulling offshore. And then, again, we'll see a 30% chance for storms on Friday. Now, as far as the tropical update goes, we continue to watch this system, which is being torn apart. And in the uh, tropical pressure number four will head off to the west very fast. It's moving there at 23 miles an hour, and eventually it uh, dissipates over San Juan and then becomes just a lot of tropical moisture that could be headed our way. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that system also coming off the coast of Africa. Long way off, even if it were to develop, we'll keep an eye on it for you. Here's the forecast for boaters. Uh, winds out of the southeast turn to the west at five knots. Sand seas running one to two feet with a light chop up there. Tides upcoming 723 for the next low tide. Sunset will be at 829. We'll get to the seven day and show you what's happening. Pretty typical. A 30% chance for scattered storms on Friday. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday we get back to the basics. More widespread rain all over the sun coast in the afternoon and evening. And we'll keep an eye, too, on that moisture Wednesday and Thursday. Right now, the rain chance is not all that high at 40%, but that's really typical for this time of year. Linda. Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up on Suncoast Scene, we'll tell you where you can find the best entertainment around this weekend. Tonight, the North Korea threat, its boldest missile test yet. So how will the U.S. respond as President Trump prepares for a high-stakes G20 and showdown with Vladimir Putin? This is where America turns. World News Tonight with David Muir. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Most of our local performing arts centers are rolling out new shows this weekend, and the bands are warming up for weekend concerts. ABC 7's Linda Carson has it all in Suncoast Scene. Put some magic in your life. The Players Camp presents Once on This Island Junior. It's going to be here on the stage at the Players July 7th at 7 p.m. We have about 36 kids this session. Um, it's a four-week camp, uh, and they're ages from 7 to 17. And the show they put on will amaze you. It's a wonderful, like, Romeo and Juliet story that happens on, like, an island like Haiti, where there's uh, two different uh, groups of people, the rich and the poor. Like uh, Romeo and Juliet, it has a bit of a tragic ending. But it's joyful to watch. And this weekend, the fifth annual Venice Theater Summer Cabaret Festival kicks off right here on the Pinkerton stage at the Venice Theater. It's going to start off with My Huckleberry Friend and Songs of My Heart. Moon River, 
Breakwaters opens the festival with the music of Johnny Mercer. The show spans his body of music, which really began with his first big hit in 1932. And he was writing songs and having hits right up until the early 1970s. His show Huckleberry Friend is this week on Thursday and Friday nights at 8 p.m. and Sunday at 2. Edwin Watson takes center stage Saturday and Sunday nights. Don't let the sun catch you crying. The name of my show is called Songs of My Heart. And actually, I put the cabaret together. Michelle and I were working. And I was picking songs, basically, that I love songs that make me happy, that I hope make other people happy. And the best entertainment bargain in town this weekend, music on Maine in Lakewood Ranch. Admission is free, the ABC7 gang will be here, so come by and say hello, and the music will be supplied by Allie and the Alibis. Johnny Walker, the drummer for Ari and the Alibis, told us what to expect. I never know for sure, just you you hear a little bit of everything. We do covers, we have originals, we have two albums out right now. We have a um, straighter, kind of an original album with a lot of the songs that we've written. We also have a cover album that is live, actually, and a lot of our favorite covers that a lot of people like to see. Um, you also hear everything from jazz, rock, blues, samba, tango. Friday night, 6 to 9 p.m. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Linda. A lot of music to enjoy. Yeah, a yeah. lot. This Let's weekend. hope we don't have a lot of rain uh, to uh, cool us down, although it's cooling down now. Right. Uh, had a water spout in Charlotte Harbor, some big storms down near Venice, uh, heading off to the west, so keep an eye on that down near Inglewood. Okay. All right, thank you, Bob. World News Tonight with David Muir is coming up next. We'll see you tonight at 11. Have a great evening. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cbc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. You might feel like there's too many problems in the world or that you, know, you as a 15-year-old, 16-year-old can't really make a difference. It's not always about you. It's not just one person. It's, it's a group. It's a team. Just that simple act is transforming someone else's life. It's one of the best feelings in the world. It'll just make you feel so good about yourself. I'd do anything to convince you just to be a part of this. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now, for every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. A decade of war has taken an unprecedented toll on our men and women in uniform. Hundreds of thousands of our veterans are suffering from the trauma of war. At Justice for Vets, we believe that every veteran should have the opportunity for treatment and restoration. Get involved and go to justiceforvets.org. Help put treatment within reach of veterans in crisis. Veterans fought for our freedom. Now it's our turn to fight for theirs. A promise was made, a promise that hit the beaches of Normandy, a vow that captured Iwo Jima, a contract that weathered Tet, a pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq, an IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earned. For help, visit DAV.org. 
Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com.